All right, we're on to clue four of the So Sweet Puzzle Mystery Quilt. I am working on the small ap apple cider first. If you remember, I also have the large churro. So I have my, my pieces already laid out that I'm going to be working on, but first I want to show you that they have released the colorways for Piazza. This is the Cotton Cuts Fall 2022 Puzzle Mystery Quilt, and the colorways are absolutely amazing. You can start grabbing the colorway you want today. Um, so be sure to go and look at them all. Look at, oh, there's a few that I really like. I really love this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, no. I. There, there's some really great ones in here. I'm really eyeing these two. I mean, I don't think there's any this time around that I would be unhappy doing. So it's amazing. I can't wait for this one to start as well. All right, so let's jump into the project here. Apple side, this I'm loving this colorway so, so much. So to get started on our section 4A pieces, we're going to be sewing the um, A to the D. And let me turn this because that's how it actually looks when you are looking at the pattern. Um, actually, it's still not how it looks, Fallon. <laughs> A and D. So we're going to be pressing the seam to the A side on four of them. And then two of them are for section 4B, and those are going to get pressed to the D side. And then if you jump down to step four for 4A, we're going to be joining A and F, and we're making two of those. It's getting pressed to the A. And then after that, two of the rectangles are getting added on to the A side, so over here, and they're going to get pressed to the F. We're also going to be making four B and F um, blocks as well. We're going to be sewing those together and pressing to the F. So I'm gonna go over and sew all of these. You know I like to get as much done as I can when I'm over at the sewing machine. All right, so now that everything is pressed, I'm going to take two of the A and AD half square triangles, fold them together right sides together, and sew a quarter inch seam, making two of those. And then I have the other two AD half square triangles that are going to go on top of the four patch. So come down right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam on those. After that, I'll press these. This set will be finished. So these are the four, this will be the four B pieces. And then this one will still need a few more steps on it. All right, so the four B is complete. So just need to finish the 4A. So to do that, we're going to take the, the two squares and the rectangle and put it on the right side of the block. So I'm just gonna put it right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam. And then after that, the B rectangle will go on the top of this set.
All right, so here are the two finished A blocks and the two finished B blocks. So I'm gonna set these to the side and start working on the churro colorway. All right, so let's start the bookish blocks. This is the churro colorway and it is the size large for the puzzle mystery quilt. So we're going to start with the A and C triangles. So a quarter inch seam and press to the A side. We're also going to sew together the A square to the F square. And we're making eight of these and pressing to the A block. We are also going to sew an A triangle to an E triangle and press to the A color. And then we're also going to sew eight A and C triangles together and press all eight of them to the A. All right, so we're gonna head over to the sewing machine and work on all of these. All right, so now that my first set of blocks are sewn, I'm gonna work on the next step. So I'm gonna sew an A square to the half square triangles that have A and C. And then I'm going to sew some four square patches with the squares that are A, F, F, A. And then I'm gonna um, sew the larger half square triangle set with the A, C onto the A squares. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that step next and there will be eight of these, four of these, and four of this set. On these, I'll be pressing towards the half square triangles. On the uh, four square, I'm going to be pressing the seam up. And on this one, the seam is going to get pressed toward the half square triangle. So now we are sewing this rectangle onto the C and A fabrics. We're sewing the half square triangle onto the four patch and the larger combos here making up the cute little bow. That's what it looks like to me. We're folding those right sides together and sewing these together. So this, this, this block is coming together quickly. Um, I don't think I remember to show you that this is just, um, we're just doing the same block four times. So very different from the small, uh, the small puzzle mystery quilt again this time. Alright, so now I'm going to be sewing the A blocks to the combo here that has A and C on it. So I'm going to be putting right sides together and sewing a quarter inch seam. And for this one, I am going to be pressing it toward the A squared after sewing.
All right, so here is the the churro so sweet puzzle mystery quilt large this is clue number four and there are four of them that are all just exactly the same so quite different from the the small so let me grab the small so you can see that one again so this is the apple cider small so like i said quite different you can kind of see some areas that are similar like that block there and we have the bit of four patch here but otherwise it is um you know pretty pretty different so i'm enjoying doing these i've always thought they were fun um i can't wait to see how both of these come together and how they look different and how they look similar so let me know what you are working on and i'll see you next time bye